Hello friends and welcome to a new video by Passion for Cycling. Dylan Grunewagen won the first stage of the Vuelta a la Comunidad Valenciana with an impressive sprint. He came out of 10th position to overtake every single rider ahead of him and stun Fabio Jacobsen at the line. The day was mainly flat with only a third category climb, so in the last few k's it was the Cunning Quickstep at the front of the peloton setting the tempo. Now in the last kilometer they were at the front still and the team did a fantastic job to drop Jacobsen at the 200 meter to go mark. From there the Dutch national champion launched his sprint and given that no one was near him he didn't even throw the bike over the line. His lead out man Davide Valerine even celebrated when crossing the line. However, it was not meant to be for them and Groenewegen snuck in to take the win. It was truly a mind-blowing effort by him to have no little train and to overtake that many riders, including fastman Jacobsen, to celebrate his 51st win in his professional career. That just goes to show his natural ability and his physical form to start the year. Sadly, this season he won't be at the Tour de France, but we will see him square off against Caleb Ewan and Elia Viviani at the Giro d'Italia. Tomorrow, stage 2, 181 kilometers long, with two second category climbs, and a second half of the day completely flat. But for the finish, which is 2 kilometers long at 8%, certainly the one that sues Greg Van Avermaet or Alejandro Valverde. Who do you think will win? Please leave a comment on the section below. Over now to the Saudi Arabia Tour and Italian Nicolo Bonifacio won the second stage after going on the attack in the last kilometer. First by catching Heinrich Hausler who again fell short, then by maintaining a high tempo for the remainder 500 meters to fend off the sprinters and take a very important win. Rui Costa is still the race overall leader and he was in the middle of controversy towards the end by apparently shoving Reiner Jansen van Rensburg from NTT Pro Cycling out of his way and thus generating a crash. Luckily, the riders involved in it are all okay. Tomorrow, stage 3, 120 kilometers long in an undulating terrain, and another chance for the sprinters if they manage to control the race and avoid late attacks. Please like, subscribe, and share this video, and we will be coming back with many more videos in the days to come. Thank you very much.